what fascinates me the most is that you can lose a world, which seems incredible because a world is quite a big thing. History is like a jigsaw puzzle, except every piece is from a different puzzle and you're trying to make them all fit. Although you may never have a finished picture, the time you spend, I think you end up understanding at least the pieces. Working with Peter Jackson on Lord of the Rings was an amazing experience, trying to recreate a medieval European fantasy universe. Creating a book like Lost Worlds, once the choices were made, is really more about deciding what you have the room to tell about than a full-blown history of each world. And it seems that there's always a story involved somewhere. The idea of taking 24 worlds which no longer exist, whether they be archaeological worlds or mythological worlds, and to treat them illustratively, I thought would be a huge amount of fun. And, uh, at one point I asked who was doing the text, and the editor replied, well, we don't really have anyone. So I said, well, I'll try. Normally a picture like this should take a week to 10 days, but I think I'll probably be taking a couple of days more. Some pictures are quite straightforward. You go from one side to the other or from the front to the back. And others you need to sort of figure out as you go along. It would be much, much easier if I had a, a Jagger right here in the room, but I don't. I need the, uh, the freedom of movement to work on the, on the fur behind, so I've put, I've taped around this figure here. So he's hidden under a plastic sheet. And that way I can work on the background until I've decided where everything goes. And then I'll come up and finish in the front. I like to think that Lost Worlds will give people the desire to read further and read more about the, uh, the worlds that we've introduced. And uh, in, my, in my mind, it's very much uh, a window on these worlds. In a sense, it's a, uh, it's a book with a view. Mm -hmm.